Uh, new drone regulations come into effect on August the 1st, which is just as well, isn't it? Because, I mean, these things are brand new. Everyone's got a blooming drone nowadays. Uh, they mean drones won't be able to fly over people's properties, so your house and my house, without our consent first. Barrister Stephen Irons has been looking into the privacy implications and the new civil aviation regulations, and he joins me now. Stephen, thanks for your time. Thank you. Good morning. Um, this is a totally new thing, isn't it? And you see these more and more. I see them from my place more and more. And you're you're on the ground in your garden thinking, what is that? Whose is it? What is it? What are they doing? Um, how much do we have any idea anecdotally of how many problems are being, how many people are concerned about drones? Well, anecdotally, there aren't actually as many complaints as you'd expect. The Privacy Commission has only received one complaint to date. Uh, it's hard to tell how many of the police have uh, fielded to date because they don't uh, really do much about it. So the They've issue no is here, yeah, I mean, how do you complain? So, because, I mean, I've seen several over my place, but who do you complain to? What do you, I've not complained because I wouldn't know how to do it. No, and the difficulty is there isn't a lot to complain about at present. Uh, the Civil Aviation Authority have drafted some rules that cover safety, and like you just mentioned, those relate to whether or not someone can fly over your property or directly over your head without your consent and they can't. But if they're up on the road above your house looking onto your property but not over your property, they're not committing any offence against the civil aviation rules. Um, if you're not naked, they're potentially not committing any criminal acts. There's but really no one I to complain to. I'm almost always naked. Yes. <laughs> well, well, perhaps they'll see something they regret if they hover over your property. <laughs> so hang on, so let me get this right. If they're hovering over someone else's property and from that location they are able to take photographs of my property, that's OK, is it? Well, the general privacy laws apply and the Privacy Commission have quite rightly just stated it doesn't matter what the technology is, the general rules are the same. Um, in this instance, there's very little criminal law sanctions that cover looking onto people's property. Right. There's peeping into a dwelling house at night, you can't mm -hmm. do that, but you can't fly a drone at night anyway. There's making a covert, intimate uh, recording, but if the person isn't naked... Mm. It's not much fun. Then, no one's going to watch exactly. it. It's like making no, a really bad no. movie, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, it's like the fourth in the instalment of Lord of the Rings, really, isn't it, if they're not naked? Um, all right, so this new rule, I mean, obviously there are a range of new rules that have come into force or that come into force on August 1st, but the most significant one is people will have to gain consent from a property owner before they fly over their property. Yes, and not only that, but they'll also have to gain consent over individuals when they fly over them. And that covers things like uh, sporting events and... Oh, wow, really? Uh, yeah, sporting events, music events. So unless there is an exemption obtained by the Civil Aviation Authority, they can't cover those events without the consent of every single person they'll fly over. And that comes down to a safety consideration. We don't want drones of up to 15 kg dropping out of the sky and landing on people's heads. No, which, and, and uh, we would have to say that is going to happen. There will be people hurt by drones. Already there have been overseas. And it is going to happen as more and more drones fly in the sky. Absolutely, absolutely. And these things don't have automatic parachutes. When they fall out of the sky, they can seriously hurt people. Mm. All right. Um, given the new rules that come into effect on August 1, are, are you concerned that still it's a fairly irregulated area? I do have concerns about the privacy implications. Now, we do have overhauls regarding the privacy laws underway at the moment, but it's not clear what exactly those are going to do to militate any concerns we have about the ability from people to look into our lives from enhanced technology. And it's not just drones, it's also um, telephoto lenses, cameras that yeah. are, are very, very good at looking from a distance. I'm right though, just finally, Stephen, I'm right, aren't I, in saying that, that whether it's a telephoto lens or a drone, you cannot take a photograph of someone, whether they're clothed or otherwise, in their garden, in their private property, and then have it published or put up online or something like that. That would be a civil action, but no, you can't. People have a reasonable right. expectation of privacy in their own home, so you can't do it, but it's not a criminal act. It's a civil wrong that can be redressed with assistance through the courts of the privacy. OK, Commission. Stephen, this Tuesday morning I'm going to leave you in charge of making sure we sort this out, OK? Thank um, you. <laughs> thank you for very, very much for joining us this morning. Stephen Irons, barrister from uh, Wellington.